No. I, on, on my TikTok page, the Lord sit, blessed listen, me with 10,000 followers. Listen to what I'm asking. And what? on my sit. Facebook page, the Lord blessed me with six, I mean, 4.9 followers. Sit. So I live this life, but I came because they asked me to come over here. But I'm already good, saved. No. <laughs> I'm already saved. But my sister, with that statement right there. I, I had to come up. Because, Give I mean, I'm wondering why everybody always coming to me when it's folks out there that's not No, no, saved. we come to everybody. Oh, now, okay, yeah. This is like that. Everybody me, get I'm, everybody. I'm saved. That's why we got saved. But yeah. let me ask you a, a question, my sister, because everybody got their own day. I'm interested. When you say you saved, can you explain to us what that means to you? In, in other words, giving up everything for Jesus Christ. I've been, I've been saved. I've been baptized. I've been whatever it, it takes to be in line with Jesus Christ. Right. I have been doing it. Fasting and praying, seeking the Lord's face. Right now, we're in the month, the, the ribbon month of fasting and praying the whole month with my husband. I fast and pray with my husband. I fast and pray with my husband. Okay, which yeah. is good. Which is good. So that being saved, I, all right, to be to be thing, right? I hear people say they saved. I am saved. So I you say so. I am set aside. So let me ask you a question, my sister. Give me a second. Saved. Now, when you say saved, say that means you automatically you good to go to the kingdom, no matter what. Yes, yeah, so if Jesus Christ was to come right now today, I'm gone. You yes, gone. I am going to heaven with Jesus. With Jesus. Okay. Yes. Oh, he's now, I live this life. So, yes. my sister, to get to, in Matthew 19:16, what did it? Just to kind of re up. Matthew 19:16, he said to get to the kingdom, we must do what? It must be there. No, I'm answering my sister. What you okay, what well, must be there? I'm asking you if you heard it, my sister. What, what must we do? I'm asking you what must we do? Okay, let's read it. Okay. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Eternal life is the kingdom, correct, my sister? Yes. Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, okay. that is God. Okay. But if thou wilt enter into life, the, the eternal life, right, heaven? Keep the commandments. Is that. You agree with that, right? Yes, I'm, oh yeah, I'm agreeing with the word 100%. All right, my sister. So this is this is. But he mean. also want us to so, repent. He want us to deny ourselves, take exactly. up our cross, and learn of him. For his word said, that if we don't take up our cross and learn of him, we are not fit for the kingdom of God. So now, yes. You know when in Matthew when he says, "He that breaks even the least commandment." What you remember that that scripture? What that say, my sister? Just just to make sure we're in the yeah, same. We'll get to all of it. No, let's read that real quick. I want to make sure you know we don't. Five. Seventeen. The book of Matthew chapter five and verse seventeen. Nope. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Michael, he didn't take away the law, right? Or the prophets. And all the prophets, he would prophesy all the way from Genesis. So whatever was written has to happen. So I ain't come here to change nothing. I have come not to destroy, but to fulfill. Because it was written that he was gonna die for us all the way from the beginning. So I had to fulfill that. For vainly I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, until the heavens and the earth pass, right? Because we still on earth, until if it's not here, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Because heaven and earth is still here. So that means the laws are still in effect, right? Just not the sacrifice, because he was the ultimate sacrifice, right? Yes, exactly. Till all be fulfilled. Read on. Verse 19. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments. Some of the things that we think is minute. The smallest things. Hey, and even if you break the things that you think is nothing, and shall teach out. man's soul, and you will teach him by either by your example or verbally teaching him, Bring it out. he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Now, read the next verse, just in case some people think, well, the least is just going to be somebody that's just low level. Nope. Read on. But so, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in but the kingdom. But if you do them and you teach them, you're going to be great. Read on. For I say unto you, this will explain the least. That except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. So unless you do more, better than what the Pharisees were doing, because they kept the law, but they were hypocrites though, because they hated Christ, right? <laughs> but unless you outdo them yeah. in keeping the law, right? Yeah. Ye shall in no case, you ain't no wise, enter into the kingdom of heaven. So that explains that least means you're not getting it in. Just right. to make That's it explain. Because right. if you stop at other verse, you say, oh, I just somebody yeah, sleep. No, he say, no, you ain't going to make it at all. Right. 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 So I wanted to read down, let the scripture explain that. So now I'm going to give some least commandments and see if you believe, obey that. 
The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garments. No cross dressing. How you doing, my sister? God is saying that we shouldn't cross dress, my sister. We're getting into it. We love God. We gotta keep the commandments. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. P pertain, belongs. Shouldn't wear. Neither shall. And it also for the men. So it goes both ways. It's just not about his daughters. It's also about the men. Because we both in error. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh, for all that do so. So the man or the woman that goes against my dress code. Are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. It's something spiritual. So now my sister. I'm gonna ask you, because you said, you know, you, you, you have some understanding in the Bible, right? What you say? So my sister, what does it mean? He said, what are some of the clothes that a man wear that belongs to women, and what are the clothes that a woman right now wear that belongs to men, according to the Bible? Well, I mean, in some countries, men wear skirts. But well, we're talking about the Israelite men. I'm not talking about the Arabs, the Chinese. You know they wear pants. Give me so Exodus 28, All right, I'll, I'll help you out, my sister. I'll help you out, my sister. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, but then I'm gonna read it. Because my word, my, my opinion. You know opinion, what? I love, look, I love what you all are doing. But guess what? At the, the end of, of the day, chapter 28. At the end of the day, the Lord said, "Don't let the sun go." And thou shalt put them go. upon Aaron thy brother and his sons with him. Read it again. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother. What, what verse, verse 41. The book of Exodus, chapter 28 and verse 41. Verse 42. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Linen breeches. Put up your breeches. Sir, Pants. Sir, right? sir. To cover word their nakedness. The Lord says. From thy loins. I'm reading the word right now. From thy loins. From the loins. Even until the thighs they shall reach. They shall reach because when we came out of Egypt, we were wearing, we were wearing those effeminate skirts just like the Egyptians. And God didn't like that. He said, sir. change that. Stop wearing skirts, man. Sir, thank God for his grace and his mercy. And the Verse word 43. of the Lord says, and they shall be upon Aaron and the end and upon of his the day, son. He, so he said, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Not the woman. You can he gave pants to the men. Jesus Christ, and when he they will give you whatever it is. Come in to the tabernacle God of the congregation. Day. So my sister, you're not supposed to be wearing pants. So if you got those pants, my sister, God says in Sephaniah, you ain't going to make it, my sister. Thank you, Jesus. So read that. Forgive me, Jesus. But I have a lot of dresses. Thank you, Jesus. You should put them on. You should put them on. Y'all have a blessed day. Zephaniah. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass. So it's going to happen. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice uh -huh. that I will punish. So he's going to punish the men or the woman. I'm going to punish the princes and the king's children uh -huh. and all such that are clothed in strange apparel. So if, if a woman is wearing a pants when Christ comes, you're gonna be not gonna make it to the kingdom. A That's man right. is wearing a dress, he's not gonna make it to the kingdom. Right. He's wearing, if he's wearing heels, uh, anything that belongs to a woman, you're not gonna make it. That's right. God. He said, right. if you break any of these least commandments, you ain't gonna make it. Right. We are not saved. We are still in captivity. Right. We are saved when we keep the commandment and Christ deliver us. Right. You cannot deliver yourself. Christ is the deliverer. So you cannot say that you're saved when you're still in the condition that you're in. Right. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 